I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on the easiest method to transfer your data and information from an iPhone to a Samsung using Samsung Smart Switch. Is there any possible way that I can switch to a Samsung without losing my information and just the nostalgia of my iPhone? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. USB to lightning cable, USB A to type C, and then just a SIM ejector tool. So on our Samsung device, we're going to download an app called Samsung Smart Switch. You can get it from the Play Store. We're just going to open that up. Agree. Allow. Okay, you're just going to unlock it. You do have a password or pin code, do put it in. So connected, the iPhone should start charging. All right, and then it, it recognizes it as a computer. I mean, what can you say? So you just say trust. And then it should say, check your iPhone, which I've done. Next. Um, just something to keep in mind, you will have to obviously take in consideration storage. So in my case, the iPhone 64 gig and the Samsung is 64 gig. So I don't really have anything to worry about. But if the iPhone was 64 and the Samsung was 32, yeah, um, you might run into issues and you might have to deselect some stuff like videos or apps or something along the lines of that. I can have every, everything selected and you just say transfer. Um, so now another thing to keep in mind, let's say you have garage band on your iPhone, which I do, you obviously can't get that on the Samsung because it's not available in the Google Play Store. Yeah, it says 104 apps selected, um, which I have on the iPhone. So these are all the apps that will work on the Samsung. So you can deselect some. So maybe you have some that you never use or don't use often um, that you have on the iPhone and might not need, you can deselect them set then I'm just gonna say install all but yeah I'll check you guys once it's done um, now the apps it will install them in the background so you can see there completing setup 0 out of 104 and then just let it organize give it another few minutes but you can unplug the phones now right so said it's done transferring and then you can download iCloud if you want to so I'm gonna hit download and then put in your Apple ID this is the data you can get from your iCloud documents. So I'm just gonna say transfer. So it will have to download all that. So you can see the downloading. So this is a picture I took on the iPhone. It was a computer that I was busy fixing. And as you can see there, it says Apple iPhone 6S. So it indeed was filmed, um, shot with this phone. So that's there along with everything else in my gallery. Okay, and that's basically it. You'll just have to wait depending on connection and how many apps you actually had. They will all install eventually. Um, my connection is a bit slow, but that's basically it. Right, so the transfer went through successfully, as you can see. Oh, I forgot to put my SIM card tray back. <laughs> but as you can see, the phones are pretty much identical. Everything seems to have transferred fine. No problems whatsoever. Um, the apps were installed in the background, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, Samsung Smart Switch is definitely the simplest method. It's hassle-free and anyone can do it. So I hope this video was somewhat useful and hope it helps some people out that may be struggling or want to try and do this. But thanks guys for watching and I'll check you in the next one.